They Never Die podcast brought to you by Too Close to Call. What One is Dead more- May Never <laughs> Die, Pags. I finally realized that they were talking probably about the zombies with that. No. No? Because they're already dead yeah. and they're not dying? Yeah. That's a thing? Like, that's yeah, not what's going the, on there? Uh, yeah, th- these people that that's their saying, the Iron Island people... I've never experienced the White Walkers or anybody like that. So. Then what are they talking they, about? I don't fucking know. Oh, okay. I just, I, hey, I was like, oh, I don't watch the show. Zombies, they're dead. Maybe they won't die because they're going to kill everybody. That's what's going on yesterday. So I think it's more if you die, you live on in spirit. Ah, okay. Gotcha. I was taking it literally. So, so literally we have the Battle of Winterfell. It's been leading up to this big moment and it was probably the most epic hour i've ever seen in my life it leads in first 10 minutes are kind of you don't see the dead army people are just nervous as hell and they're kind of setting up like showing where the characters are going to be during this battle and lady melisandre who is the red woman the red priestess who brought Jon snow back to life comes and pretty much lights the Dothraki swords on fire with her witch magic. Okay. And everyone thinks to themselves, maybe they have a shot at this, because fire kills the dead army. Well, these guys go off and off to battle in the front line, and slowly you just see their screens le- leaving, and the light of their swords kind of fades away, and everyone's like, uh, we are so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they bust through that pretty quickly. It was probably like 10 seconds, and Alyssa gives me, she's like, maybe they have a shot. And I go, do you not see the lights going out? <laughs> like, they are dead. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So the army attacks. Danny and John are on these dragons, and they are supposed to pretty much wait for the Night King to reveal himself to Bran. And that never happens. And Danny goes and attacks because she saw the Dothraki wipe out. So dragons are starting to fucking kill a bunch of the army. However, Night King brings the storm, and all of a sudden the dragons can't see where the hell they are. And it's just absolute chaos. I can't even explain it. It was just Helm's Deep times 20 because it was dead zombies that just keep fucking coming at you. They're coming through a gate of some sort, or... Yeah, well, people of Winterfell lit the trench on fire. So essentially, you they can't go through fire. Well, the Night King has the bright idea to just sacrifice five or six of the dead army, and they just lay there to put out the fire, and the dead army just kind of walks over the dead people that are dead. And they pretty much create a wall of dead people to walk up and get up on the wall. It's like, imagine Helm's Deep where they're bringing the ladders. Well, these the ladders just dead people just climbing on top of dead people. Nice. That's and badass. Crazy, That's dude. like World like, War Z shit from that Brad yeah, Pitt man. movie, Zombie. Exactly. Like when they're climbing and taking down the skyscrapers like that. That's sure. exactly what it was. Pretty much all hope is lost. People are fucking dying. Ed dies. Beric Dondarrion dies. It's just absolute chaos. And everyone kind of just realizes that they're fucking done. Night King is out on the lawn and Daenerys brings her dragon and no. There was a thought that maybe dragon fire would kill the Night King. Well, she just blasts him with fire, and this thing, he just fucking stands there. And she's like, oh, I'm fucked. (laughs) Yeah, but she shouldn't have been, because apparently we saw in a previous season that that motherfucker walked right through the fire, so... Yeah, well, I think the whole thing was that, like, dragon fire is different from other fire, but... It's not, bitches. Let's just say it did work. It's so not. Then John chases him down, and before John could get to him, and these people have been fighting for hours, this dead army, the Night King raises everybody that died back again. So, like, there's this moment where everyone's like, oh my gosh, we've been working so hard to kill, fend off this army. The Night King just brought back everyone that died during the battle, and everyone, it's just the look of, we are so fucked, and that's where John has the realization, like, I need to kill this guy, because he created everybody, and if he dies, everyone else dies. So essentially, that's when they kind of figure out that the only way to defeat everybody is to get to the main source type of well, storyline. I think line. they knew that, but I think they thought they might be able to fend off the army, 
and it's just i mean literally the white walkers weren't even fighting it was okay. literally just dead people and it was in space. <laughs> just wits and, is that the that's yeah, what they're called okay. yes so essentially what happens is Arya has been running through winterfell melisandra the red woman kind of gives her a little hint like basically saying you're gonna be the one to end this war I guess here, so here's my deal, right? Like, as an outsider, take me through how Arya kills this white king because just as a listener from a storyline perspective, take everything else out of it. You're telling me we had a 12-year-old kill the mighty villain, man? Like, are you serious right now? That sounds ridiculous. Yeah, it sounds ridiculous if you haven't watched the fucking show. She has been in training for four seasons to be the most lethal assassin in the world. Well, that's the other thing, man. Apparently, all you thronies should have been better because we've been told this is coming since season three. I'm seeing the one woman's looking back in her eyes and she says, I see a darkness in you staring back at me. Brown eyes, blue eyes, and green eyes. Eyes you'll shut forever. And then that comes back around. And then what do we say to the God of death? Not today. You see that come back around. And I'm like, okay, so we knew how this was ending since season three. If we put the pieces together and it's this girl who just got laid the episode before. I mean, talk about a weekend, Pags. Arya gets boned for the first time and then kills the god of death the next day? Like, this bitch is the baddest bitch of all time. Who knew this whole show was about how bad of a bitch this 12-year-old is? Well, it's 100%. She's the fucking goat. I was watching all all these Instagrams like, Arya's the goat. And if you could watch season one and when he says the god, what do we say to the god of death, and you could piece together that she's going to kill the fucking Night King... You're the most brilliant person in the world. Yeah, hindsight, you can fucking figure all that shit out, put Easter eggs together, but it ain't fucking happening. Man, I don't know, Pags. I'm just saying, Jon Snow, dragons, Daenerys, all these guns, ghouls, goblins, badass fucking wits, zombies, all this shit, and nah, we got ourselves a 13-year-old who's badder than everybody, so ha-ha. You're real. Yeah, dude, like, talk me out of it. That's what I'm saying. Was it cool how she defeated him? Like, did she Hell fucking yeah. jump oh, through God. fire, a hoop, down fucking seven Here's stories off a building? Like, it had to be sweet, dude. She's she's a kid. It couldn't have been, like, a it, sword fight or something. Like, there's no so shot this badass bad. king loses to a 13-year-old. Like, how does that happen? That's, like, a million to one odds. Like, you gotta... I'm not buying yeah, that. Yeah, I wish I would have put her down in Vegas as the one to kill the Night King. That's what I'm saying, dude. Say. Like, I'm not buying it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, you okay. gotta make... So me believe here that this would be possible yeah you gotta make me believe you saw Pax. her okay so here's what happens Theon is protecting Bran the Night King is basically coming to kill Bran because they knew that all along that he was gonna eventually come and kill Bran and that's why Daenerys and Jon were supposed to stay there but plans didn't go according to plan so Theon charges the Night King he does Night King is about to kill Bran Jon is about to get eaten by a dead dragon Shit slows down. All of a sudden, one of the White Walkers' hair blows in the wind because Arya was trained to be a silent assassin, and literally no one knew she was even fucking there. She takes a leap at the Night King. The Night King fucking snags her out of the air and is just choking her to death. She has her knife in her right hand. She drops it to the left hand, stabs him right in the fucking th- stomach. He dies. The whole night, the whole dead army dies. Boom, winner fell saved. Oh, uh, I'm glad I'm glad you like it, man. Cause just as a non fan, I'm like, okay, so he kills all the grown ass men, but I guess she was trained to be a ninja, so therefore I would understand via the story. But dropping from right to like he didn't realize that his stomach was available while he was holding her, that she could reach him, that doesn't sound like a quality night king. You gotta fucking see it. That's what I'm saying. We need a better Night King. I think he. I think the Night King got hosed and all this stuff. My as, dad was pissed that he died. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking the Night King got hosed. We see him for a battle as a person who wanted to see the fight, and all of a sudden he gets killed by a teenager. And I'm seeing the Michael Jordan memes. Oh, she went from the right to the left. I'm like, oh shit! How did he not see that one coming? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh man! But all the reviews are positive. A lot of death. Ten thousand Dothraki. Eight thousand Unsullied. Seven thousand. Westeros like nights, like we're talking twenty like thousand people. That did the math on that. 
Like, oh, yeah, I counted every Dothraki that fucking died. Yeah, no, you didn't, asshole. Oh, yeah, right? But like you said, you know, they have the one, obviously, the people who everybody knows died. But all the other ones in the background, I laughed. Oh, and hey, look at this, Pag, CNN Entertainment. Zero, zero wits because what's dead may never die. Remember? Question mark. Nice. Hey, yo. All well, right. There. So here's the deal, Pags, right? So that's episode three. We got three episodes left here, and the king's yep. dead. Why are we watching any of these episodes either? Well, you still have a whole other fucking army that they have to deal with, and they have no fucking troops because they all got wiped out. So who's the other army? You have to deal with, uh, you have to deal with Cersei and her army. That she obviously was correct in saying... I'm not going to send my people to go die from the thing. Let them all slaughter themselves and we'll deal with the scraps. And she was fucking right. Cause now they have no army. They have one dragon and it's literally like, what the hell are they going to do? So this bitch who sat out the fight is going to win it. I dig it. That's what it it. sounds like. Oh man. That's your prediction. I still think there's something going on with the White Walkers. There better be, Pags. That's what I'm saying. That's a disappointing showing from the White Walkers. As a White Walker fan, Pags, this is where I'm coming from. As a fan of the White Walkers who was rooting for chaos and anarchy, I'm just saying I think my guy got the short end of the stick there when it came to the cinematic writing of that episode. I agree. I was like, he's fucking dead. After fucking season one, episode one, it was teased that this thing, and after one battle, he's fucking gone. Yeah, I he was teased all, thing, at the all same decades. Time, I'm thinking in my head, these people are literally getting fucking wiped out. There is no <laughs> plausible way that you could say any of the characters in Winterfell survived this if the Night King isn't dead. Right. And I feel like they had to kill the Night King. Otherwise, you could not t- convince me that every single person, not one, even Jon Snow, Daenerys, any of them would have survived that battle because they were getting fucking crushed. Gotcha. Okay, I understand. I understand. That's And that's a tough that's a tough corner to, to be written into. But obviously, with all this shit going on, you know, it's the little things. And it's the guys like me who aren't fans of the show, like I said. Because right. obviously, the fans are so invested. They're just like, right. oh, Arya's the baddest bitch. Look at this mean. She's the best. And I'm just scrolling through these going, man, all you guys are watching a show where the main awesome character is a 13, 16-year-old chick? Like, do you realize that, Pags? That's what you're doing here. Like, you're the greatest show the ever. Character, is, but yes, yeah, she is pretty badass. Yeah, like a 16-year-old girl is the main character of the show you've been following for eight seasons now. I want you to know that. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> wait till you see fucking Avengers. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that one in the movie pod coming up later this <laughs> week for sure. But, uh, yeah, man, for now, hey, that's anything you want to add more for episode three or any teasers no, for four, I, five, and six? I just have no fucking idea what the hell's going to happen. Obviously, Cersei has got the leg up on everybody. I'm very intrigued to see what the hell happens, how the hell they clean up all these dead bodies in the fucking Winterfell. And <laughs> yeah, just let the them rot. going to happen? Oh, man. But, hey, that's... I will uh, say the Clegane Bowl is going to happen. The Hound versus the Mountain. I'm glad the Hound survived this battle because he still has to fight his fucking brother, and it is going to be awesome. Excellent. Hey, we got four hours left of Game of Thrones, give or take a couple of minutes, but everybody seemed to enjoy it. I'll check it out, certainly on HBO Go, playback here. Maybe it'll look more badass over the screen, but just on paper, reading the script, I'm just kind of like, Ooh, okay, we're going with that. But uh, it does sound idiotic when you just say, "Oh, a sixteen-year-old killed a fucking after he kills two grown-ass men right before it." Like I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching it. I just wanted to give you a hard time, see if you could uh, convince me otherwise. Put you on the spot there, Tuna. So well done, sir. Hey, thank you. You got it. Hey, thanks for listening out there. Tell me how big of an asshole I am in all the comments. We would love to interact with you people. Convince me that this could be plausible. We love you. (laughs) Too close to call cast. What is dead may never die. What is dead may never die. Handshake. Handshake. Handshake.